Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some library databases to find additional information to support the topics that you discussed in your first informational speech, which I really enjoyed listening to. So let me, let's first start from the college's homepage, right? I'm going to click on Quick Links, Library and Chat. In the announcement, that this video will be in, there'll also be a link to the research guide I made for your class. So usually at this point we click the research databases tab. This time we're going to click the research guide tab. And we're going to find the research guide I made for your class. I'm going to scroll down to it until I get to communication studies and click that link. And yours comes up right away. A research guide is just a web page that has been created to highlight some library resources that I thought would be helpful for you to conduct research for your class. Um, right now we're at the gathering information stage, so I'm going to click that link. And what you're going to see are two sets of databases or collections of information that I'm recommending based on the topics that you guys talked about um, in those initial speeches. So for me, they broke down into two main ideas. One was about current issues and events. So someone um, was writing about the um, opioid epidemic. Someone else was discussing the issue in Ukraine. Um, somebody else was talking about um, residential schools in Canada, and that was recently discovered, right? So these databases up here are the ones that I recommend for researching things that are more current. If we scroll down, there's another set of databases that I recommend for researching historical events like the Great Depression or the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. And um, you can see that there is some overlap. And so in the video, this video right now, I'm going to show you how to use Gale eBooks and Academic Search Complete because I've already shown you how to use Opposing Viewpoints and U.S. Major Dailies. And um, for Jonathan, um, I included this resource here, Business Source Elite. I think this will be a great place to find information about um, small businesses. And this is also, I think, might be a good place for Jada to look as well, um, because there'll probably be trade publications for farmers. But to get started, let's just jump into Gale eBooks. And at this point, you can see it's my first time to log into a database today, so it's asking me for my username and password. It's the same thing I use to log into Canvas. And now that I'm inside Gale eBooks, I can conduct a really simple search. So if I wanted to get more information about the opioid epidemic or crisis, right, I can click these terms and conduct a search. And what I'm getting back are encyclopedias. So you know how when you start researching something you know nothing about and you go online and you get a lot of Wikipedia results and Wikipedia makes you happy because it's an encyclopedia. So it's written for someone who doesn't know much about a topic that needs to get a lot of background. That's just like what this is, except all of these sources are considered authoritative, which means that they were written by people considered experts on the topic and they're conveying information that's considered to be true by the majority of people in the field. So if you wanted to get an idea about what the opioid epidemic looks like from a medical perspective, I can open up this entry for this book, and it's going to give me an overview of what's going on, including some more demographics and things like that. And if this was something you liked at this point, you can download it, you can send it to yourself, um, all kinds of different options. You can cite it, things like that, right? If I was doing something else, if I wanted to get more information about the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, for example, you know, it's 757 results, right? I can look at it from the Encyclopedia of African American Culture and History or the Encyclopedia of Race and Racism. You know, there's something else called America in the World, 1976 to present, International Encyclopedia of Social Sciences, 
And if I go ahead and I open it up, this is only a little, it's a short article, it's only two pages. It's going to give me some background information on that. So it's, um, it's, this is a good source for, um, background information about things that happened long enough ago that a book would be written, right? So if you want to get quickly up to speed or if you have bits of information that you've gathered around the web or in articles and you're looking for more of an overview of the topic, I really recommend um, jumping into Gale eBooks to see if there's something on your topic in there because I think that'll give you the context you need to put your information in perspective, right? The other database that I think is going to be really great for you guys is Academic Search Complete. This database has a little bit of everything. It has um, magazines, newspapers, academic or scholarly journal articles. So if I did a search in this database for, let's say, the um, residential schools, And Canada and I just want to point out what I've done in the search I put residential schools in quotes because that is the name of the type of school and it's really important that those two words show up next to each other so I can make sure I get the right results and then I added and Canada and and is what's called a boolean operator so what I've done is I've created a command to the database saying only bring me back articles that talk about residential schools and Canada if I hit search I have 576 results. There's some things that I want to do right away. I want to limit to full text because I only want it to know about articles that I can read. So you can see that narrowed my results a little bit. If I scroll down, you can see we've got things going back to 1993. So maybe this isn't as new as we think it is, right? People have been talking about this for a while. Um, if I can scroll down to the type of result. so. I might decide that I want a newspaper, although if I would say newspaper articles, you've got more of them if you go into US major dailies. I might decide that I want a magazine article. So if you think about it, newspapers are written to tell you about the latest things that are going on. They're written every day or sometimes more than once a day. Magazines are on a different a, um, publication cycle, so they might give you more details or more information. So if you, if you look here, for example, here's something called Walking in Two Worlds. It's a special issue. It is talking about a um, native journalist and her books about Canada and indigenous peoples. And you can see that another term that's used to talk about these residential schools is called boarding schools. So if you didn't get enough results using that term residential schools, you could use this term instead. But if this article looked interesting to you, you can click on the title and you can scroll down and you can get the full text. And if you think this is interesting, you wanna save it for later, if you come over here on the uh, right-hand side, you're going to see how you can save it into Google Drive, print, email. You can also um, download it and things like that as well. Let's try another search. So if I did a search in here for um, animals and medicine, this is Jada's search, or Jada's topic. I get a lot of results. So once again, I'm going to want to refine my results. So I limited to full text. But in this case, I might want to limit to trade publications. So if you think of magazines are written for a general person, everyday person, and academic or scholarly journal articles are written for researchers, trade cup publications are written for people doing that work. So you'll get publications like Southeast Farm Press or um, Update, right, or ASHA Leader. And so a lot of these are going to be written for your audience, which are farmers. Um, in, in the speech that you gave. And so this will just give you another perspective. So I hope this video helps you use library resources to um, add additional information and, and background to your speeches. 
And just remember, if you have a problem um, accessing any of our resources or picking the right one or knowing how to use it, that all you have to do is look for this little chat widget, this little blue button, click on it, and you will be able to talk to a librarian right away who will help you pick the right database for your topic and will help you search it and get to the full text. Good luck.